This is MJ. I'm an author, I'm an artist, I'm an analyzer. You can find all my work at mjmunoz.com. This is an announcement of what I am reading next. Uh, it's going to be released with a post, which is called MJ's Next Read, Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. And as you can probably guess it, I'm reading Tuck Everlasting next. So let me give you some information about the book. Uh, here it is. From Newberry Honor and E.B. White Award winning author Natalie Babbitt, Tuck Everlasting is a spellbinding modern day masterpiece about immortality, friendship, and growing up that's sure to be an all time favorite for every generation. Here's the blurb. Is eternal life a blessing or a curse? That is what young Winnie Foster must decide when she discovers a spring on her family's property whose waters grant immortality. Members of the Tuck family, having drunk from the spring, tell Winnie of their experiences watching life go by and never growing older. But when Winnie must decide whether or not to keep the Tucks secret and whether or not to join them on their never-ending journey. Oh, sorry, but then she must, not but when. So, this book has uh, gained the following awards. American Library Association Notable Children's Books. Hmm, interesting. Uh, a Polish National Award. It's a, the Janusz Korzak, Korzak Medal. Uh, the Horn Book Magazine Fanfare List and Ohio Choose to Read Program. Uh, I'm going to be reading this book uh, via, or listening to this, the audio book version of this on Cloud Library. You can also purchase an audio version of it from the publisher's website, as well as a physical copy of the book, which is linked in the show notes in the post for this episode. And if you'd like to read this book as well and join in the conversation about it, leave me comments, leave me your thoughts on the book. Uh, you can do that. I will be taking submissions for that up until February 6, 2024, which is not a long time away, but it's also not a very long book, especially if you listen to the audiobook and you can do it while you're doing something else. Uh, and then I will be publishing uh, my thoughts and any that come in within the allotted time uh, on uh, as a story over everything episode. Um, I'm starting a subsection, a sub-series within story over everything where I document my journey as a writer. And as I'm moving into writing more middle grade fiction, I'm going to be documenting my thoughts, feelings, reactions on a bunch of middle grade books, and this is the first of them. This is from modern day middle book, uh, middle grade books, and uh, it's from 1975, which that information was not included here for some reason. It was originally published in 1975. I'll have to include that in my episode. Um, but uh, yes, it's modern, even though it's from 1970s, which is uh, I don't know what 50 years before now, and I have a broad categorization of classic versus modern uh, middle grade books. So that's uh, that's what I'm going to be reading through over the course of this year and commenting on and talking about, as well as uh, writing my own books. So anyway, you can subscribe to the Story Over Everything podcast uh, anywhere, but you can find links to it over at mgmunios.com, and there will be a post here again, uh, show notes. If you're already in a podcast feeder uh, or feed uh, mechanism, you'll have links back to the show notes so you can check out everything else I have going on. And other than that, uh, I ask that you look forward to hearing my thoughts on this story, and I invite you to share your thoughts on it as well. So I hope that you are all well. Until next time, this is MJ signing out. I hope you enjoyed that. Go to mjmunoz.com to leave any questions, comments, or other feedback you might have. There you can find all of my analysis, art, and fiction. I cover books, tokusatsu, comic books, anime, and more. Look around. You're sure to find something else that you'll enjoy as well. This has been a Story Over Everything production.